And I was like, I rolled down my window. I was like, back your truck up to the trailer so no one steals it. And they're like, what? Oh. And they're like, yeah, we'll park right here. I was like, no, back your truck up in front of the trailer so no one steals it. And oh, while I'm saying all this, it's just, ba, 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 just hitting the ref limiter. And I'm like, back your fucking truck. Sorry, back your truck up to the damn truck. Ba, 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 ba. And he's like, what? I'm like, stop revving your damn truck. Dude, that thing was just. I mean, he was like, oh, God, yeah, his white, he just had his waiter boot laying on his gas, and it was just red lines, just, da, 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 I don't know. Who was this? The twins. Hey, guys, thank you all for coming to check out episode seven. It's crazy how this has flown by. Um, this is a really fun one. Uh, you know, a lot of times our favorite thing to do here at Falco is to get kids or new people that haven't hunted before, uh, get them in to the sport that we love so much. And this one was special because we had a good client of ours that was able to bring his son to get his first duck. And so this whole hunt was pretty much based around Jonas getting his first duck. So I hope you all enjoy it. Hero. Seems like it never fails. Brian and Curdy just wanted their food. Cisco trucks in the ditch in the middle of Centennial. Well, he'll just have to call a wrecker because the tractor's broke down and won't start. So. in the middle of Centennial. Cisco. <laughs> and a dozer's on the way. No way. Cisco truck is stuck. Yeah, like right at the bird pit. It's been stuck there for a while. I mean, he, it, that, yeah, that was, that's been there for three or four hours at it's least. a classic example of those guys not reading their notes. What are we, three signs deep now? Hey, Aaron, so what we got going on this morning? Well, we got really probably a day early on the fall, and a bunch of ducks are kind of trying to return to the wetland. They've been staged on a big reservoir just to the west, about half a mile. And uh, I'm gonna try something a little on with the docks. The ice is so big, we can pretty much walk around and stand out there on it. I was surprised, I mean, because this ice, I mean, it's five, six inches thick. And you could drive a truck across this thing. And somehow, kept a little hole open, which I didn't think they did down here. But they did. Let's see what happens. Ice bath. Like, Dad gave him what's his name? Hammer and Hayley. But see how that's so high? That's why it won't go down low enough. It moves to a little bit deeper water, but still. This won't listen. It's frustrating. About to go kill your first duck, hopefully. Yes, you excited? Sir. Yes, sir. You looking forward to it? Yes, sir. What yeah. kind of duck you want to kill? Uh, a mallard. mallard. A mallard. Green head. Right at your feet. Well, you with the man. What about teal? Teal. Can you get you a teal bird, too? Then whatever that is. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> That'd make a hot right lofty, lofty, lofty goals, bud. Lofty goals. I love it. One. You excited? What was it? A uh, pintail. You want to kill another one? You wanted a mallard too, right? Yes, sir. Well, let's see if we can't make that happen.
so much fun. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Pintail. Here we go, baby. Pretty good, successful first duck hunt. First duck, How you feel about it? Good. Birthday. It's your birthday too. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's your birthday. It's a pretty good early birthday present, wouldn't you say? Yes, sir. Pretty good hunt today, and pretty special hunt as well. What did we do here? We got a young man's first duck, and we killed a ten-man limit in three and a half hours. So, right here on a. Iced over wetland with a little, little tiny puddle in front of us. And ducks are tired, thirsty. And, uh, and we just made some hardcore memories out here. That's what we did today. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Cool memories. So what, what we got going on? We are going to take some impressions. And basically it's just a two-part silicone that starts its life off kind of like peanut butter. And ends up like a rubber eraser. And that's how we take the impression. We'll cut it and put it in our laser machine. It'll scan it. And then... Have a mold of your ear. Boom. That's it. Bada bing. And with this, uh, you can save this in case I want to get in here. Still. Yep. Save it for, it'll be stored electronically and you can uh, do yeah. what you need with it. Awesome. You about to clean my ears? I'm make sure your brain is intact and okay. working the way it should. Let's make, hopefully That's there's questionable. more light. Why do I see a light? Show me your duck holes Yep, light on the other side. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> Battery's dead or did you forget the code? Uh, did you forget the code or is the battery dead? No, the battery's dead. I know I don't the code. think this is going to work out like you think it is. Well, it's going to work out. What do you think is going to happen? I think he's going to be spending a lot of time cutting on the save and it's not going to open. You can't change the battery? Not on the outside, on the inside. What kind of piece of shit? Yeah, dude. The thing is, it has a key right yeah, there in the right middle. There. I don't have a clue where. I've had that thing for four years. I don't know where that key's at. What are you gonna do once you get a hole in it? What am I gonna do? How do you get this freaking blade off? Give me an axe. We'll break that door off. Find us at a bank God, near I've you. Some videos of people the We're finna get rich, boys. All right, y'all. Thank you uh, for watching this episode. Uh, stay tuned for episode eight. We're gonna do some fun hunts that maybe you hadn't seen yet, uh, and uh, kind of close this season out here at the Oklahoma Lodge before we move to Snow Goose.